Hello, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Carlton Says Real Talk. Now, I'm really excited about this interview because this is one of my new favorite shows of all time. That's where I'm talking about VH1's Hit the Floor. And today I am talking to the man, the legend himself, Mr. Robert Christopher Riley, who plays Terrence on the show. What's going on, Robert? How you doing? Hey, what's happening, y'all? I'm doing good. How you doing? I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good, man. Again, thank you so much for um, taking the time out of your busy schedule to talk with me today. I really appreciate it. Hey, my pleasure, brother. My pleasure. Now, um, tell us a little bit about yourself and, you know, how you got started into acting and everything. Okay. Well, I'm originally from Flatbush, Brooklyn, New York. I'm a first-generation American born. My mother's from Trinidad. My father's from Barbados. Uh, I was um, I was at Lehigh University in undergrad in Pennsylvania, and I was studying accounting, and I was going to be a football player. Or should I, should I say I was a football-playing accountant at the time? And um, they were doing a production of A Raisin in the Sun. They needed some more black actors because the school was about 92% white. I was in an intro to acting class, and my uh, my professor, who then became my mentor, later became my mentor, Ms. Cashy Johnson, who is now a tenured professor at Lehigh University. Congratulations, Cashy. She uh, you know, asked me to audition for the show, and, and, and I inevitably said yes. I said no a bunch of times first, but... I said yes out of a sense of obligation in my community because we didn't have very many things for uh, for minority students at the time. Mm-hmm. And uh, luckily I tripped over something that I, I love doing and I'm pretty good at. So. <laughs> well, I'll say you a little bit more better than pretty good. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> appreciate you, man. I appreciate No problem. Now, like I said in the intro, guys, Robert is best known for his role as Terrence on the VH1 show Hit the Floor. Big fan of the show. I, I, as soon as I saw the name Kimberly Elise, I was like, I'm watching it. So, and then, <laughs> yeah, and then I saw the hot promos that were showing, and I was like, yeah, I got to tune in. This show's going to be really good. Um, now, for those who have not seen it, how about you tell the folks out there about the show and just, you know, uh, tell them about your character. Drama. We're going into our second season. We'll be back summer 2014. We, uh, we're the number one new scripted series on cable this summer, which was uh, amazing and, and a little bit unexpected by a lot of people, I'm sure. But the show is, uh, is a drama. It's a, some would call it an evening soap. It um, centers around a professional basketball dance team called the Devil Girls. They are the dancers for a fictional team called the Los Angeles Devil. And uh, I play Terrence Wall, who is the captain of the Devils. You could pretty much call him Kobe Bryant. Or maybe uh, maybe more of a Dwayne Wade situation with a LeBron coming in as uh, who's played by uh, McKinley Freeman. That character is Derek Roman. So you've got, a, you've got a lot of the relationship shenanigans that go on with the uh, players and the dancers, some of which have been collaborated by professional dancers and athletes that I know. Mm. Um, and you got a little bit of a uh, a little bit of shenanigans involving the owner and the coach, and then the uh, the former. Well, now she is a former Charlotte Roth, aka Olivia, was the original head of the Devil Girls and uh, an ex Devil Girl herself. Her position has been taken in the season finale by Kimberly Elite, aka Sloan Hayes, and uh, so we're gonna see where things go. Sloan is uh, Sloan as in her dancer days. First, the child Asha, who is the star of our show, played by Taylor Page. Um, and that is a love child of herself uh, and Dean Kane, who plays our coach, Pete Davenport. So there's a little bit of, you know, that was a big bombshell in season one, along with some other things. we got our lovely Kat Bayless, who plays Kyle, uh, the amazing uh, effervescent uh, country Southern Belle. <laughs> she <laughs> <is>. <laughs> provides a lot of the comic relief, as well as a lot of the, um, I'd say, some of the common sense moments. Uh, that she, she tends to be Asha's, Asha's uh, rock, so to speak. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a great show. I, I could go on and on about those storylines, obviously, because I've, they're all very close to me. I know them well. But uh, um, you can catch if you If you haven't caught season one, it's available now on iTunes and Amazon for download. I'm sure the DVD uh, collection will be coming out soon for the holidays. And um, yeah, everybody I know that watches it, really loves it. People are waiting for it to come back, and, and I'm thankful to be a part of it. Yeah, and I'm definitely one of those people uh, who are waiting for it to come back. Me and my family talk about the show all the time. Guys, definitely check out this show. Like I said, it's 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 just a phenomenal show. The, the acting is great. The writing is superb. The dancing 
is amazing. <laughs> the dancing in the show, the ladies, ah, I, I can go on and on about this show too. So it's it's just a it's a it's just a really good show. Now, um, and the season one finale. Now, Terrence found out that uh, his girlfriend was the reason why his drug test kind of came back all funny. Now, yeah. now when you read that script, what was going through your mind on that? Because you know, me personally, when I was watching, I was like, wow, she's a dirty broad. That's messed up. Like, what yeah. what was in your mind when you read the script for the first time? You was like, were you, like, surprised? Were you, like, dag? You know what? How were you thinking? What was your thought process? Well, I mean, I, it's being as, as, uh, as involved as I am with the character or, you know, I, I, I can't say I saw it coming, but I wasn't surprised when I when I saw it. I just, all I can say is I love the way it played out. Um, as a man, I would have done the same thing. And, and I think that that's, uh, that's, that's really what I tried, to, I tried to bring across in my portrayal of Terrence is that, you know, at the end of the day, you, you can love somebody so much, which he did. He, you know, he, he really did and in, in, in all likelihood does love um, Yelena, played by Logan Browning. And, um, but what she did is, is in many ways unforgivable. And even if you understand why she did it and she didn't want him to go and she's got trust issues, that's... That's all well and good, but she really, you know, that that's a, it's one of those unforgivable wrongs. And in some ways, that's, that's that's almost worse than cheating because you could you could maybe see someone, you know, having a, a an attraction to somebody else and and not controlling themselves, but to to manipulate someone and put their whole career in jeopardy just because you uh, you know couldn't trust them to give you an answer in a, a, a fashion that you would think was timely is. It's just wrong. So I tried to strike one for all the real men out there who have been hurt, but have also been so mad that, um, that uh, it's hard to control. So I, I tried to bring that across in the finale, and, and by all accounts, it, it went pretty well. People seem to have gotten that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, most definitely. I know I was pissed off. I was like, dang, that's messed up. Like, I, uh, that was, uh, wow. I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm ready for, for season two. Are, are you guys filming right now? Oh, we actually started filming uh, in January. Okay. So they're, they're, I'm sure they're just about done writing now. They started writing. Uh, the team got together in August, and uh, they've been writing feverishly writing season two. I know they're very excited. I've, I've run into a lot of the uh, top brands of VH1, and they're just as excited about this season, if not more so than they were last season. Um, we'll start production here at Paramount Studios in uh in January, and uh, in all likelihood, production will go right up until we premiere, which is should be around Memorial Day at the same time that we did last year. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. That's what's up. Now, I know you're definitely a busy man. Um, so are, you, are there any other projects that you're working on? If so, what, what are you doing? Well, yeah, I'm actually doing a lot right now. I just finished um, I, I finished principal photography in my own short film that I, I wrote and produced and directed uh, called Finally, starring myself and Lauren Tilton Jacobs. Uh, it's a story about a... Uh, um, fathers and sons and interconnected lives and um i've been doing a lot of spoken word at a couple performances at rooftop 3100 here in downtown los angeles uh, some of those performances you can find on my website rob com. they're on the blog there also getting busy working on some music getting ready to put a little bit of a little bit of singer songwriter acoustic guitar stuff out um probably before the end of the year so i'm, I'm staying busy you can keep up with everything I'm doing on either on Instagram or Twitter at Rob Riley NYC or like I said on my uh, for the long form stuff. If you're really interested, you get to get to dabble in that on my blog at RobRileyNYC.com. It's also a website with any number of other things, tons of pictures and bios and demo reels and blah 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 yakety schmackety. <laughs> That's what's up, man. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't peg you to be into the music. That's 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 pretty interesting. I definitely learned something today. That's that's cool, man. That's what's up. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate it, man. I've been singing since I was a little kid. I used to sing in the choir with my mother when I was about five or six years old. I never really stopped. And uh, the poetry is something that I I do when I can't figure out another way to express myself. And um, that's gone really well. It's been well received. And and uh, like I said, some of those performances are online and. Yeah, please feel free to check them out. If you like what you hear, share them with somebody else. Cool. That's what's up. Last question for today. Um, since this is a blog, Carlton says we talk about television. Of course, we talk about Hit the Floor when it was on. Now, and again, I know you're a busy man, but if there, if you have some downtime, what television shows are you watching? Uh, well, I'm, I'm looking 
opposed to the following coming back on uh, on Fox, uh, that Kevin Bacon, James Purefoy, that was, I, I really enjoyed it. Um, my girlfriend and I just finished watching Breaking Bad. We did the whole Netflix, uh, the Netflix catch up, and then I ordered the final season off of iTunes. So uh, that, that was an amazing show. Looking forward to to seeing what what next comes out of that camp. And um, I'm looking forward to uh, what is the uh, House of Cards comes back on Valentine's Day. That's season. right. So yeah, there'll be a season two of House of Cards. So I'm looking. I, I like the intense dramas, as you can tell by everything that I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'm looking forward. You know, I'm looking forward to those two things. And and uh, and I think we're going to get into the newsroom here. My my, my girlfriend suggested that we take a look at that. So, yeah, I heard that. I heard that was a pretty good show. Definitely something yeah. to check out. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's, 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 that's about it. That's all that's on the docket right now. Oh, and Single Ladies will be back. My my sister show on VH1, which I uh, which introduced me to VH1. That was on. Uh, uh, that'll be back January of this year. I was on the second season of that, and that's kind of how VH1 found me. Cool. So, uh, yeah, I'll be checking that out because I, I like keeping up with Travis and, and Lisa Ray and and all those folks. Awesome. And my, my buddy, my buddy, the Godfather. AKA <laughs> 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 Terrell, Terrell Tilford. He, that's my personal nickname for him. He knows why. Love you, T. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's up, man. Well, uh, Robert, thank you so much for for talking with me today, man. I really enjoyed uh, talking with you, and I just I learned so much about you. And I like I said, you got me hyped for Hit the Floor season two. I cannot wait until that comes oh, back. Yeah, I'm ready. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, it's coming back, baby. We're gonna be back and better than ever. If you like season one, you're gonna love season two. I can promise you. I'm bringing it, and I'm pretty sure the rest of us will. It's cool. That's what's up. That's what's up. All right, everybody. Thank y'all so much for listening to another edition of Cross and Says Real Talk. And we are definitely coming back strong. If uh, I don't, if you guys don't hear from me, um, I hope you guys have a great and happy and a Merry Christmas and a, a even more prosperous 2014. I know we are, and we're excited about all the great things, great things that's going to happen in the new year. All right, thanks, guys. That's it, that's it for Cross and Says Real Talk. Talk to you guys later.